No. No, that was you and me, right before the accident. That was not me. What just happened? I'm Dan. That's Julia. And that's Backface. Jules, you're back. You have I, um... binged Constellation. Is your brain in a blender? Tell me. It sure is. So I watched all four of the first episodes while I was working today, while I was going grocery shopping, while I was making dinner. So I did have to rewind and rewatch some stuff because it did kind of fuck my mind a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. This, this show is a mind fuck. There's a lot in this episode particularly that messed me up. The whole Henry Bud thing. We'll get into it. We're going to have a lot of theories on that. And speaking of theories, we're making a theory video this weekend. So comment everything you want answered below and we'll pick some of your comments to read and speculate about them this weekend so go crazy this episode especially was a, a good one to theorize about we got a couple solid answers but a lot that's still left up into interpretation especially bud slash henry what's going on with that all right so it picks up right after last episode ended where magnus is knocked out on the floor and joe wants to put alice in the car and run away and i'm your mother it's okay for you to go with me in a car she goes to the facility and she starts listening to five but then she puts Cal in her bag and Bagface, you were speculating of how she got Cal. It, it was much more simple than I thought it was going to be. She just yanks it. And yeah. I thought like a <laughs> high level NASA quantum experiment, you know, would maybe be locked or something. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I did feel like that would probably break it, but yeah, yeah I guess she would have clearance. So it makes sense that like no one would even be in the area unless they had the clearance to be. So I'm, I'm glad that we're there. We're at that point now. Everything's yeah. coming together. And it comes in handy later on. It sure does. So we'll get into that when we get to it. So, all right, this is the first Bud slash Henry mindfuck scene. Bud wakes up and he's telling Henry to shut up in his mind. Shut up. Shut up. First thoughts on this because there's a lot that happens later is is bud and then henry are they two different people are they one and the same henrod yeah Henrod. <laughs> like are they are, are they both are they both two people is that what's uh, going on like what is going on i don't know if you're gonna bring this up it, it was like a weird science thing in the middle of the episode but there's like a very important moment where mm -hmm. they're talking about quantum entanglement and yeah. it's this really cool thing einstein called it spooky action at a distance so you could take like one particle and another particle and if you entangle them you can shoot them across the universe and no matter how far away they get they will always be able to instantly communicate mm -hmm. so they're like forever connected and what affects one affects the other it all and they had to have brought that up for a reason yeah it, it's it's why we're seeing he uh henry <laughs> i was going to combine the names again it's why we're <laughs> seeing like henry and bud starting to interact i think is because okay. bud ditched his pills and i think that was keeping them separate all right got it got yeah. it it's just too creepy all the shit that happens like when he like writes on the fucking mirror and then it's backwards right right it's because what happens to one happens like affects the oh, other. oh sure. right Duh. yeah, yeah, yeah. so like if, if you <laughs> do one thing to one particle the other one right. instantaneously gotcha. yeah what happens to one of the particles in an entangled pair determines what happens to the other even if they are far apart how how do you know which one takes precedent though because if they, they henry's taking his meds and bud is not taking his meds yeah i don't think it's in either of their minds i think it's it has to do with relation to the cow like how close in proximity they are because yeah, yeah like i guess we'll talk about it in a later scene but it seems like once joe takes the cow things start to kind of split apart for hen hen rudd and but yeah Bud yeah 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 all right all right so that's the first time we'll talk about that more in a little bit so then joe calls Ilya, another astronaut and she's asking about his meds and she's like it says a right parenthesis a parenthesis a check mine say b can you do me a favor and test yours because i'm on double dose of antipsychotic meds lithium seven my vitamins and my antipsychotics are the same thing can you go ahead and test yours because i want to see why they're doing this to me are they trying to suppress something i've seen backface we talked last week about maybe there's uh someone higher up that knows what's really going on and they're trying to silence joe maybe because i said that i saw something that nobody wanted me to see that scene was interesting to me because now Ilya is kind of involved. He doesn't want to show his hand too much that he gets himself in trouble, but you can tell he's curious enough that he wants to help. Yeah. I like that it like subtly plays onto 
how close they all were on the ISS. Cause I think he was the one that flew the other two home. I'm pretty sure that's who yeah. he yeah. is. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's a nice, like, I don't know, unspoken. They have enough of a friendship and enough of a bond that he's taking her word for it when no one else really has, like even her husband. Right. But uh, yeah, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. She's at border patrol. She's trying to get into Denmark, right? That's where she's, she's going yeah. to. So they see the, cow but it's covered with ice and she's like it's ice is ice illegal ice is not illegal is it and she kind of gets away with it all right and then this is when henry notices that cal is gone he calls someone named irena he says irena i need your help i'm sorry you need to come and pick up the pieces i feel like it's the russian woman at the esa i think it's her sister because they mentioned she has a sister mm -hmm. like in the first episode they both have the same last name and very similar first names. And I think that maybe the sister survived in one, like with Henry, and Henry only interacts with the sister. And then Bud in the other universe or timeline, the other sister survives. So like Bud has Irene and Henry has Irene. Oh yeah. my God. That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> constant, constant mind fucks, man. I love it. Yeah. So cool. All right. So yeah, we'll talk about Irina later. I have a specific screenshot that I'm going to put up when Joe is looking into an article. I'll put that up in a little bit. Joe asked Alice about when she said she saw Joe dead. A funeral. You said that you thought I was dead. And she was like, what's going on with that? But you're here now. So, But did you really see that? And she goes, well, what's really going on is I'm scared of the Valia. The Valia. It scares me. Is the Valia a person? Do you want to draw her for me? So we'll talk about the value more in just a second. And then Joe calls the man who sent her the tapes, but it turned out to be this guy's sister. It's Lawrence and Wally. And she says she's on the way to him. And Lawrence says it must have been my sister and she's insane. Don't listen to her. And he's like a conspiracy theorist. We find out later. So that's why he doesn't trust anyone. And I'm going to screenshot right here. This is the article that Joe is looking at. Over many years, they have faked these tapes and used them to attempt to extort and blackmail NASA and Roscosmos, says Major Irina Lachenko director of Roscosmos. So there you go. She's trying to discredit what Wally and Lawrence have found on these ghost tapes that we find out. We get more in that in just a second. So Joe calls Magnus. Frederick gets on the phone. But then Alice shows Joe the picture of who she is scared of. It's the Russian cosmonaut. How do you know? <laughs> when did you see this? And Joe's like, what the hell? That's who caused the crash on the ISS. What did you guys think of that scene? It kind of, it didn't really shock me at all. When they said that she was like scared or something, it just made sense that it was the cosmonaut lady. I but I'm trying to figure out how she's connected to it. Like, that's the part I don't get. I think I just figured out something. Let's hear it. I think the way it, it's played off is Irene and Irina. I think they're sisters that are in like alternate universes, but I'm pretty sure they're both aware of each other's existence. Each other. Yeah. And that's why Irene is so hesitant to like let this cosmonaut thing get out and like have the yeah. truth be out because she knows that this is a, a thing that happens and it's a real thing. And that would explain why Irene is like directly responsible for trying to bury these tapes. Yes. Because yeah. they're like yeah. literal proof of like adjacent worlds, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And it, like, it wouldn't be that far fetched to say that they know about each other. I mean, clearly Henry and Bud do. Yeah. Well, and we were theorizing last week that like there must be higher ups at some level that know what's going on to give Joe yeah. antipsychotics yeah. in the first place. And those people definitely know their other other timeline yeah. counterparts. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. What Nothing. if they're sending people to the moon because they know it'll do that to them? Yeah. They're like only going to space because like they're the experiment, not like yes, yeah, the other way around. Ooh, right. Yeah. That's wild. <laughs> what were you saying uh, about the cosmonaut? Because she says she's both dead and alive. Right. Which I thought was like interesting. So yeah, maybe she's, she's in that liminal space that uh, Henry was talking about. Yeah. 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 Maybe she's like seeing both versions of Irina at the same time so like she can see mm. her dead but she can like also see the, oh. like, alive in the other universe i love what we're stumbling into right now <laughs> <laughs> bring us on the show let us do your theories in the writer's room so Ilya is having his meds checked and this woman says that the medical records are no longer available and then she starts digging into him asking about joe and her whereabouts and where she might be and this is when we find out that Ilya kind of has her back because he might know that information. Yes, 
and he's not giving it up and he's kind of yeah. his lips are sealed so i really appreciate that she at least has one person on her side that's going to be trying to help her figure out what's actually going on and that's like a real awesome moment that i i really enjoyed so do we hear the name of who because it's irene or irena that comes to talk to Ilya, right does he say her name i don't think so okay but if it happens i'll play the clip beautiful i'll play the clip but yeah i would assume it's it's one of them it'd be interesting to see because the original one we see is irene so if he says irena that's like kind of confirmation i I don't know what it's confirmation of because it nothing makes sense anymore but (laughs) (laughs) so joe pulls up to the house wally greets her at the gate lets her in says i am 85 and i have osteoporosis so if you give me a, a good kick in the ass, I'll fall over and turn to dust. You don't have to be scared of me. And she's like, I want to know why you sent me these letters, these tapes, these recordings. What are they? So then her brother, Lawrence, is like a conspiracy theorist. He thinks they're crisis actors. This woman is a crisis actor. Wants them out. And then Joe tells Wally about seeing the body of the cosmonaut. And that's what caused the collision on the ISS. And then this is when Wally reveals we have ghost tapes it's one of our ghost tapes ghost tapes do my stag on bond do my stag on them The only way you can hear these tapes is if you go five miles out into the water. So they're going to do that in just a second. But before we get there, we see a photo of Henry with the two siblings from 1982. And the reason he was with them is because he wanted the tapes from the Apollo 18 incident when Henry was the only survivor. He wants the tapes, of course. Of Apollo 18. Ha! So they're on the boat and Wally's telling Joe about the three cosmonauts that witnessed angels hovering over them in space. And then three more joined them later. And then all six of them saw them. That's one of the stories that is being hidden by these higher up figures that they don't want out there. And we saw that Irina said that these are all hoax tapes and they're not real. So they're trying to bury them. And for a long time, The siblings thought that these tapes were just static until Apollo 18, and it was drenched in this noise. And if you pay attention enough, you can hear it. Mummy. What? It's just noise. You have to train your ears. Or if we find out later, if you're next to Cal, they come in clear as day. So five miles out there, and they're listening to the ghost tapes. She shows her recording from 1967. Wally thinks this woman could be the corpse that Joe saw in space. And we find out this is in 1967, the same day Irina went up in space and came back in one piece. The same day Irina Lysenko went into space and supposedly came back again in one piece. So Irina was there the same time and she's the one that's trying to bury all this stuff. So like, why? What's her motive behind that? I don't know yet. One thing. I don't know if you picked up on this, but the angels in space thing, there was one of those astronauts Joe saw the medical records of and they were on the same pills as her. Yeah, yes, Mm -hmm. yes. I don't know if you want to like clip that in. I'm pretty sure they're just putting everybody who has seen some shit out in space on these meds. Yeah, yeah. I just thought it was interesting that it's like Irina trying to cover it up. Well, Irina's directly the one trying to cover it up, like which makes me assume that she must know what's going on. Right, right. Yeah, but like, what's the benefit of that for her? Yeah, that's what I'm curious of. And why would Henry call her earlier on and say, you got to fix this mess? So Like like, she knows how to fix it in some way. Yeah, exactly. Okay, what do you guys think about the Paul Lancaster scene when Wally brings up Paul? Oh, you want Paul Lancaster? Paul Lancaster died. Oh, did he? Well, first off, Alice starts to get freaked out and she's like, turn it off, turn it off. And then Joe starts to get fed up. Mommy, listen, it's enough. And they turn off the tapes and turn around to go back once Paul is brought up because she was like, no, Paul's dead. And Wally kind of leaves that up to interpretation. Like, is he though? Maybe he got transported to a different universe or something like that. I thought the Paul thing was cool because um, it makes me wonder if uh, like Wally and her brother are like, kind of like Henry and Bud where they're like slipping universes back and forth because Mm. they were confused by Paul not coming back because that's what they heard. I also thought it was interesting Alice's reaction to the tapes. Can we go in now? Mom, please. Please. It made me wonder like if 
she could hear them right away. Like if she can hear the people speaking right away. And that's why she was freaking out so much just because it seems like it. Yeah. It seems like she was hiding something like she wasn't yeah. just hearing what Joe was hearing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So back on shore, Wally gives her the ghost tapes and says, these are yours to keep. We don't want them. You take them. These, no. These are no. yours. I, I really don't need to yes, take them. Yes, they're yours. No. Take them. No. <laughs> they're yours. No. And they come in handy later. Henry goes to Frederick to talk about the cow. And this is when Bud takes over his body, wets himself, laughs maniacally. <laughs> And then it goes back to Henry and he's like, I am coming with you. I just need to change. <laughs> what is that? Honestly, I thought that was a great scene. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it was so well a great done. scene. Yeah. But also, I was like, is this dude like really revenge pissing himself? <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> it's weird too that like Henry doesn't react like mad or surprised or anything. Yeah. He's just like, yeah, I just got to change. He's not like, you know what I mean? So it's like, like, well, you know, that happens. So <laughs> yeah. Is this like Good a on. common occurrence for Henry and Bud? Like they can like mess with each other back and forth. Yeah. It seems like they've had a I lot of conversations hope... before. Yeah. I kind of hope their only power though is like making each other piss themselves. Piss themselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or just like slight inconveniences. So then Joe tells Alice the Valia is what hit the ISS. Asks Alice who she is. Alice says she's a dead cosmonaut, but she didn't hear her talking about the accident. So how did she know about her? And then she says the bit about how she's alive and dead. I thought she was dead. She's a bit alive and a bit dead. Backface you were talking about earlier. And then she's like, I wish I could have heard that 1967 tape more clearly. So Alice pops the tape in. And then since they're close to Cal, you can hear it. And then when they move it, even when Joe moves it directly next to Cal, you can hear it clear as day. And then Alice goes, yeah, that's Valiant. Mommy, that's the Valiant. On the tape. That's that's the Valiant talking right there. So that was nuts. I love that scene. That's the voice that she's been hearing. That's what mm -hmm. she's been scared of. That's why she's been hiding in, in cupboards. It's clear as day that that voice is the same person. That image yeah. that she drew in the orange spacesuit is the same thing that Joe saw that destroyed the ISS. It all came full circle in that scene. It was awesome. Makes me wonder if the cow is somehow like producing a liminal space around it. If like that's going to be the, the point, because you can only hear the tapes when you're in like, I don't know how to define liminal space. I would agree with that. My theory is that the whole reason that these people are getting like this is because of Cal, like on the space yeah. station. It's like, it feels like Cal caused it in the show when it goes off. Cause that's like the catalyst for everything. But there was already people like Bud and Henry. I was just going like... to say, yeah, I was thinking about that. Yeah. Like maybe there was a previous experiment. I don't know. Maybe it's just the moon itself and Cal just like amplified it. Maybe. Henry who turned his life around in one timeline. And then Bud is like an alcoholic failure of a man. Murderer. <laughs> yeah. That too. I yeah. forgot about that. Holy yeah. So did I. So did I. <laughs> well, speaking of those two, we get the scene when Henry is calling out the Bud, and then he answers. He tells him he thinks that Cal has made everything worse, but Bud's just like, hey. I'm coming to get you, Henry. Sooner or later. And I'm going to fuck things up. And <laughs> also, I made you piss your pants. How can you possibly touch me? I made you piss your pants. Like, he's just <laughs> so funny. I love that scene, man. So, yeah, wild stuff with Henry and Bud, man. Absolutely wild stuff. But I think what you said earlier on, they're, like, tethered, right? Yeah. Is that yeah. basically and like, what's going on? I was just thinking about how Henry gave the example of when you have, like, one, mo one molecule or whatever that's black and one's white, and they can't be, like, both at the same time unless they're in that liminal space, right? Does that mean that these are, like, the opposite, like, personalities for these people? Because Joe's kind of an asshole in one timeline and, like, not in the other. Well, yeah, she cheated. Yeah. On one yeah. Right. And then, like, and the other. even Alice, like, she's a dick to her mom when she gets home in one, in one and then on the other, she just, she's, like, all over. I love her and missed her and shit. And, yeah, and wants her mom back. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Well, then we get to the part when they are listening to the tape uh, some more and more clearly and the cosmonaut is saying the world is the wrong way around and they get to a crossroad that joe doesn't recognize she's like i've been here a million times mm -hmm. how do i not know where to go screw it i'm gonna drive over this frozen lake what's that noise it's 
just the ice. What? Don't worry, it's like a meter thick. They arrive at the cabin. She then decides to play her tape and she's talking to Alice who is speaking in Swedish. Which brings this scene into play. I don't speak Swedish. I don't call you mama. Backface and I, we talked about this last video. She speaks Swedish in one universe, doesn't speak it in another, calls her mama in one universe, doesn't call it in another. Maybe I'm using the word universe wrong. Reality, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. One reality and yeah. not another. There's just two I mean, I, parallel universes, that makes sense to me. Timelines, yeah. whatever. Yeah. And then we see the other Alice scream out for mama as the episode ends. <laughs> Well, right. And I would assume that the Alice, like Joe's Alice, Joe's original Alice, would probably be having like the same weird visions the Alice that Joe is currently with is having, where like she mm. sees the funeral. So maybe she's like seen her mom alive, mm. you know, like okay. the same, yeah, 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 the same yeah, way yeah. that yeah. Alice has seen Paul alive, which would well, bring her to the cabin. Alice witnessed the experiment. So that's how she's also seeing things and going from... Oh. One routed to the other, and that would oh, affect I the other think Alice. About that. Yeah, it would affect yeah, both of okay. them. So, like, yeah. one Alice okay. saw the experiment, and it affected the other Alice. That's why they're both like slipping in and out. Right. right. Yeah. She's well, and we've slipping. already seen later on in that scene, right at the beginning of the show. Doesn't she? She finds yeah. the other Alice, mm -hmm. and she's wet. Right. She had like fallen through the ice, and she brings her in. I, I can't. Because she like puts Something her in a like bathtub, that. right? Yeah, like yeah, she's, she's really like cold. hypothermic yeah. for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah. We already know that she's going to find this other her Alice at some point. Mama? Where is she? Hey. Uh, uh, you and oh. it's gotta be proximity to the cow that's like letting the other Alice's switch places. Yeah. That was episode five. We got three more episodes. Oh crap, that's there's it? only eight. Yeah, there's only eight. Yeah. Uh. There's totally going to be a bunch of mysteries left at the end of this show. Oh, yeah. I'm but very like, excited. See, like some some shows, I hate that, but I feel like with this show, I kind of expect that to happen. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because but... like, there's a lot of shit going on. There's no way they're going to answer all of it. I love how they literally took a scene to just explain to the audience, like these are all the problems we have, and they like have Alice put the beads <laughs> in the box. Yeah. Like these are all the mystery boxes we have in the show, just so everybody remembers. <laughs> Yeah, right. Everybody take notes. Yeah. <laughs> what did you right. guys think of this episode? I loved it. Yeah. Absolutely loved it. Yeah. I'm in. I'm totally in. I mean, I love sci-fi. It's my thing. So, yeah. like, yeah, I'm in. I'm down yeah, for Yeah, I ride. liked it a lot. It was kind of hard, to be honest, for me to keep track of what happened in what episode because I watched it all on the same day. <laughs> but I did really like this episode. I was, I, it kept me very intrigued. What about you? Oh, I love it. The tone is so uh, uneasy at all times. Yeah. yeah yeah it is like so well scored and directed and it's so it just holds the perfect amount of tension for me just yeah. enough mystery just it enough gives tension. like the right amount of creepy like eerie yeah. eeriness yeah. yeah so i'm i'm into it i'm all the way in i love this show me too can't wait to do the theory video vex will be joining us for that so we'll do a nice little round table and we'll read all your theories we'll share some of our theories once we have some more time to digest this whole bud and henry thing i can't wait to dig more into that and the whole two alice thing i can't wait to dig more into that so go wild in the comments let us know what you guys want answered if you have specific theories that you think you're right on let us know and we'll read that and we'll highlight your comments but thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Later. Bye, guys. What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? That just happened. <laughs>